Bobby Burns hails from Detroit, the Motor City, and the city of music known as Motown. As a young man growing up, Detroit was a haven for some of the world's most outstanding jazz musicians, affording Bobby the opportunity and the good fortune to play with and learn from the very best. Bobby explains his earliest recollection of his love for music in this excerpt from a documentary of his life entitled, Everything is Beautiful. I had a paper route, and I was walking down the street one day, just throwing the papers as I usually do, and I heard this horn playing a saxophone. <clears throat> and it sounded so good that, and I could tell that it wasn't any, any music accompanying it, that the person was just playing the horn. And it sounded so good, I asked my, uh, customer that I was delivering the papers to, if I could go in and listen to this person that was playing. <clears throat> I found out later on, just from inquiring around, that this particular person was Illinois Jacket. He was a saxophone player with Lionel Hampton, and he had just recorded Flying Home which came be, eventually became a, a very top-notch song and, a, a matter of fact, became a standard, the song itself. And uh, it wasn't right away, but eventually uh, my birthday came up and my sister asked me, what do you want for your birthday? She's never done that before and she's never done it after. <laughs> but that particular time, she asked me, what did I want for my birthday? So I told her I wanted a clarinet. And so she went down and purchased the clarinet for me. In 1952, Bobby was drafted into the U.S. Army. After basic training, he auditioned and was accepted to play in the U.S. Army Band. Being stationed in Berlin, Germany, Bobby was able to further his musical training with what was considered by some to be the best musicians in the world, as they were members of the German Symphony Orchestra. Okay, and I understand they did some interview with you on Channel 13, was it here in Las Vegas? Yes, I did an interview before we played at the, well, while at the time that I was playing at the Mirage. Okay, thanks, Lisa. One of the newest hot spots at the Mirage is launching a new series of shows just for the summer. It's all happening at Rumbar Mirage. And I'm Michael Frey is here with Bobby Barnes and the Merchants of Jazz to talk about jazz. <laughs> Now, I understand also that you've been playing at a lot of senior citizen homes. How do they receive this kind of music? Uh, to me, it, it appears that this is something that they really like. One of the things is that I'm able to identify with these people because I'm basically the same age as some of the people that are there. So I can play music that's, uh, that's basically in the era that they were in, because I was in the same area <laughs> with them. Yes, mm -hmm. and they seem to really, does it seem, you know, sometimes music can touch people in a certain kind of way, and especially when the familiarity of that music they have may not have heard in a long time, especially live. I can imagine that may have a, a positive effect on, on, on them at these kind of institutions. Well, I notice, uh, some of the songs that I play, for example, when I play a song like When You're Smiling, The Whole World Smiles With You, that's something that they can identify with. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the
also I do a song that they seem to like quite well uh, that was recorded by Louis Satchmo Armstrong. What song is that? Uh, uh, that's uh, What a Wonderful World. Let me hear you do a little bit of that. I see trees of green. Red roses. Donald Byrd was in the first band that I had, and that was in 1949. 1949. Also, Gene Taylor was in that group too, yeah, right? Gene Taylor. The bass player who eventually bass played with Horace Silver. He was uh -huh. in that group. Okay. And yeah. then you also had a... a uh, I, I had another... <clears throat> well, Curtis Fuller was... He was a couple years younger than us. Mm -hmm. But Curtis Fuller was a trombone player with John Coltrane. Mm -hmm. At that time, we had no idea that he was going to be a famous person too. Now, you also, so that was Gene Taylor on bass, mm -hmm. Curtis Fuller was playing with you, Donald Burr was playing trumpet. And also Roland Hanna, Sir Roland Hanna. Right, Roland played with Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald and Benny Goodman. Mm -hmm. So you were around quite a bit of famous people coming up. Yeah. And you said these guys were in your band. Yeah, these are in the band that I had, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what keeps you going today to still want to play this music after all these years? Well, <clears throat> I feel that the music really vitalizes you, it, it keeps you vibrant, keeps your mind thinking, and it's also a pleasure to play. Right now I'm here in Las Vegas and I'm, I'm teaching at uh, Sam Ash Music Studio, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a a very fine venture. Uh, Absolutely, I, Sam Ash is one of the largest music stores in the United States. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been nice to have you, Bobby, and uh, I wish you really a lot of success in your venture here in Las Vegas, and uh, and I'm sure you will get around to uh, entertaining a whole lot more people, uh, especially with that wonderful personality and smile that you have. Thank you. For booking info, please call Bobby at 702-349-3807 or visit him on the web at www.bobbybarnes.com.